Hi everybody and welcome back on the channel. It's been a little while I didn't post an update on the on the YouTube channel. So uh, today I'm going to cover the last two weeks of uh, news regarding Panzer Dragoon. So we are going to talk about uh, Stadia, the release of Panzer Dragoon remake on Stadia. We also are going to talk a little bit about Forever Entertainment because there was an, art an interesting article uh, recently. We are going to talk a little bit about the latest video music I, uh, I posted uh, on the channel. We are also going to discuss uh, something that Futatsugi has to say about Panzer Dragoon, uh, the series. And uh, we will uh, discuss uh, the Sega uh, 60th uh, anniversary uh, because uh, recently Sega celebrated uh, its 60th, 60th anniversary. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, uh, the Panzer Dragon remake uh, was released uh, recently on, uh, on Stadia. Now, I had a chance to try the game on Stadia because um, there is a two-month uh, free uh, trial on the, on the Pro uh, subscription. So, um, some people asked me to do a review of that. Initially, I was not sure if I would uh, cover this uh, topic, but uh, because it's free, uh, I had a chance to try it on my uh, MacBook. Uh, it works. Uh, I will try it on my PC a little bit later. I will not be able to try the game on my TV because I don't have a Chromecast, uh, so I, I won't be able to try that. But uh, I think it will give me a good idea, and uh, then I will uh, share my my thought on this uh, on this uh, version of the game. Uh, to be honest with you, I can already say that uh, it's 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 a decent version. It's uh, it's quite good. Uh, I'm actually impressed, but I will share my uh, detailed. Uh, I'm impressed by uh, the service. Uh, the game is uh, very close to uh, the version we already know. There there are some pros uh, with the Stadia version. It performs uh, well. I will I will. Uh, give you more more details, but uh, there are also some cons about uh, this version. It's not perfect because of the technology used. So I will uh, I will share my impression on that a little bit later on the channel. Uh, then I talked about the Forever Entertainment article. So recently we had a, an article about uh, Forever Entertainment uh, financial situation, a Polish article. Uh, I won't go into many details about that, but in this article, we had uh, some uh, some interesting statement here. Uh, apparently, the company is also preparing uh, game production for the latest generation of consoles, uh, which will go on sale by the end of 2020. So what does that mean? Maybe maybe we will see Panzer Dragoon uh, remake go on uh, PS5 and Series X at launch. It would be a smart move to uh, you know launch the the game uh, on on the console while uh, there are not many game. Uh, it's usually a smart strategy. Uh, I remember when the Switch launched, uh, there were not many games, and some developers were smart enough to. You know, ship their games at the time of launch, so it's a good. Uh, it could be a good opportunity for um, for the you know the game to be to be launched along the PS5 and Series X. We will see. It's purely speculation, uh, so take this with a grain of salt. But uh, you know, uh, based on what I read here and based on an article we had in the past, uh, that pre this article uh, was saying that the Panzer Dragon remake would launch on uh, PS5 and Series X. It was later uh, said that it was a rumor. Again, this seems to be pointing to something like that. So we shall see. Um, yeah, and um, they just confirmed uh, in this article that Forever Entertainment is still working on three remakes, including Panzer Dragoon Spy remake and uh, House of the Dead uh, 1 and 2. So uh, we shall see about that. Uh, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the YouTube channel and to the Twitter uh, account. Um, I also uh, recently published a, a video uh, comparing one-to-one uh, -one the original uh, soundtrack of Panzer Dragoon and the rearranged soundtrack of the game. Uh, so I think um, people might have overlooked uh, the uh, rearranged version because they are uh, very familiar with the original uh, 
soundtrack, it's fine. Uh, I personally think it's not black and white. It's not uh, the original is perfect and the, there's no need for the new one or something like that. I think I think uh, this rearranged version is, is good. I like it. Uh, I think the, the original soundtrack especially shine with where uh, the, the tracks are orchestrated. Um, but if you check some some episodes like episode, uh, I don't know, one to seven, actually most of the episodes that are not orchestrated, they have a very old uh, sound to them and it's fine. I mean, it's fine. It's a game from the 90s. I'm just saying for a modern remake, it's nice to have a modern version because I think newcomers might actually enjoy this uh, this new soundtrack. So what I did is uh, I clipped uh, 30 seconds of each uh, song, the new one, the, the original one, actually in this order, the original and the rearranged track. And uh, yeah, I, I put them uh, in the order of the game. Uh, introduction, the main title, episode one and episode two uh, with the bosses. Uh, you will notice that there is one track missing in the in the remake. We don't have the the, the original sound, uh, the original track, uh, nor uh, the remake track. So I don't know if it's up on purpose or or if they forgot to include it in the game when. Uh, synchronizing with the tracks so i don't know about that but uh, it's something i noticed when i uh, replayed the original game and uh you know re-listen to the original soundtrack so um i will put a link above here and uh well you can uh, you can listen to that it took me a while to to do this comparison so i hope you will enjoy that we also had a, a comment from uh, yukio futatsugi so we had a comment from uh, Yukio Futatsugi uh, further discussing uh, the Panzer Dragon series. Um, uh, so basically, I had shared the interview on uh, the Instagram on the Facebook page, and uh, he added uh, a comment here. Most important for me is that it is beautiful. Not only should it be fun for the player, but also pleasing to the eye. This is why we had Jean Giraud make the cover for the, origi the, the original Panzer Dragoon. I also really want to make an open world game. So, I mean, he's posting a message on our Facebook page saying, insisting that he wants to make an open world game. So I think we need to help him, guys. I think we need to keep, uh, you know, pushing for this to happen. Uh, he obviously has uh, ideas uh, and he insists on that. It's not just the interview, he, he further commented on that. So I think we need to support that. Uh, it's 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 all we can do so far. So uh, maybe you guys, if you haven't done already, you should sign the petition that I uh, set up uh, back in 2017 uh, for our Panzer Dragoon Open World. All the links are below this video. So uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, sign this petition. Um, and then lastly, uh, we had uh, our answers about the speculations of uh, this uh, Panzer Drag this uh, Sega anniversary uh, big, uh, big surprise. Uh, a journalist from Famitsu was uh, teasing something big uh, and there were many, many speculations about, uh, you know, Microsoft uh, buying uh, Sega or Sega uh, rebranding the Series X in Japan uh, to sell it uh, in Japan. Uh, obviously, none of that happened. And uh, it was confirmed that the big news was this, uh, this fog uh, technology which is basically a sort of cloud service, not exactly cloud, but it's it's putting, uh, it's using the power of the arcades, uh, especially when they are closed to the public, uh, to use the GPU and CPU to run games uh, remotely uh, as a sort of cloud-based service. I don't know why this was hyped so much because obviously, this is this is an interesting technology, but I don't think this is to the PS5 uh, level of uh, you know uh, audience. Um, this this can be interesting, but probably for Japan only uh, because they have arcades and uh, 
And if you have, if you want to have a low latency, you probably want to keep this service in Japan only. So, uh, and even so, would that be so big? Uh, I don't know. It, it might help some arcades uh, to, to survive a little bit longer or to make more profit. But honestly, I'm not sure this is as big as this uh, journalist was uh, trying to hype uh, it for. So again, it is uh, another lesson that we should not, uh, you know, hype uh, ourselves too much. Um, and uh, what else? We have this uh, Game Gear uh, item. Uh, I don't have much to say about it, honestly. For me, uh, it is uh, it is a little bit expensive for what we have on the on the uh, on the micro Game Gear. Uh, if they had put all the games on one system, maybe I would have tried to to get one. But uh, in its uh, current form, I think it's uh, it's it's nice for Sega to celebrate its uh, anniversary. But this item is a little bit uh, too pricey for 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 my personal taste. So um, uh, let me know below this uh, this video if you uh, if you think about uh, getting uh, the Game Gear Micro. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, let me know if you're interested about uh, my uh, Stadia impressions uh, coming uh, shortly on the channel. Um, and this is about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short uh, summary of the last two, two weeks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, stay safe, stay home and uh, talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.